Hello everyone, this is DarkSorrel46 here, and welcome to a new Let's Play by Universal Only Press. Now I say a little bit more mature than that. And where's don't eat meat, folks? Where's don't eat meat? Scott Pilgrim is in love with Ramona Flowers, but he must defeat her seven evil ex-boyfriends. Let's do this! Yes, everyone, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game. More like Scott Pilgrim, more like Scott Pilgrim, the game, but, well, I'll take what I can get. Well, I've been wanting to do this game for a long time, so, here's a chance I'll actually be able to do it. And then I just go to the options right quick, and hopefully I'll be able to set down my volume a tiny bit. So you guys will be able to hear me off a little bit quicker, you know what? Like that, yeah, there we go. Now I should do it. Really? Welcome to Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. This game is basically based on both the books and the movie. Me has references here and there, and I'll tell you guys what those are. Well, let's get right into it. But I am not. Well, actually, since I want to make this LP go a little bit more smoothly, because I don't find myself confident enough to do rough and tough, I'll do Average Joe. Heck, I'm not very good at these BM up games. Well, we got Derek Carter to play as here. I mean, it's a game that's made for four, four players. Unfortunately, I don't have no friends to play alongside me, so I have to go out solo. This should be fun. We only got Scott. Oh, wrong. You didn't see that. We only got Scott, Kim, Stills, and Ramona here. That I can play as. Also, there's DLC characters known as um, Knives and Wallace. But anyway, since this is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, I thought we'd go out and go ask Scott. Let's get started with this. And <laughs> I just love this map. Wait, wait. Here's the first level, Frozen Suburbs. Well, let's get this started. No, man, I thoroughly enjoy the Scott Pilgrim series. I mean, heck, it's a pretty good series. I recommend you guys re read it or watch the movie. Even though the movie didn't get good, very good box out of stuff. Wait, level one, Snowy Toronto. Don't be late for the big show. Well, let's do this! Yep, this is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Man, let's basically get quick that to run. Press square to do normal attacks. Triangle to do heavy attacks. And I believe you can yep, circle the block. Oh, and also, L1 and R1 do, do things as well. But I'll explain what that is later. Well, I think this game's like an old fashioned BM up. Which I really love. You know what? Too bad I can't slide kick right now. I think it's like next low up. Sadly, unfortunately. Well, I beat Mooks in order to get real Canadian money. And, ah, there you are. Like I said, I'm not very good at this game, so I might get my ass handed to me from time to time. But heck, I just love this game so much. This game is so fun. But every once in a while, this game does crash every once in a while. That's a sad thing, but still, ow! I still love this game regardless. I mean, seriously, I love this Scott Pilgrim series. It's like one of my favorite series. It has video game references and actual drama. Which I hope to love and ow, I'm getting my ass kicked. Might as well do this. Yeah, that's why I'm doing press press R1, as you do like a little special attack each character. And also, if you press um if I get a chance to show it off here, if you press L1, you build some assist, which isn't always knives. There are other assists in the game, but we'll get them later. Basically what I'll explain what knives does. Knives basically basically does different things depending on which character. For Scott. She does this lo her little love thing that she shows in the movie and the comics, and actually stuns enemies. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it really take really helps do with crowd control, which is really nice. And come on! Oh, yeah, oh, these guys! Ow! Yeah, these guys like the throw items at you. Yeah, you got your iron guys and your douchebags. So basically, just wail on. 
I mean, I wanted to do this game for a long time. So let's play this LP. We've been replacing the Tuesday and Thursday column. So hope you guys enjoy this. I mean, heck, I really love the Scott Pickle series so much. And yeah, here. There we go. And no, they're not comboing me that easily. Yeah, sometimes the enemies will blindside me, but I'm usually more confident in this. But I'm not confident enough to play on, um... Yay, roll up! We actually got the dash. We actually got the dash stuff now. Yay! Oh, God! I always forget that guy's there. Yeah, this is the base where the enemies get tough. Usually, when I don't have the dive kick, I usually pick up the enemies and then throw them to do major damage to them. But, if I'm, but since I got the low up, I'll be doing drop kicks a lot more often now. And come on. Yeah, it's actually fast-paced gameplay. is almost really not normal for me. Heck, I, I'm not very really play at Sonic guy that much, but heck, this, this is kind of beam up and ow! Jeez, jerk! Die! Yeah, level one's not too bad, but it gets better when you you get a lot better when you level up. Oh man, I love I love this I love how a how a bit this game can get. Nice try, pal! I knew you were coming there! Well, these are fat guys! They can't be harmed by normal attacks except by drop kicks. You have to hit them with heavy attacks. Anyways, there's just... No, okay, never mind. Just... Stop blocking! Stop blocking and die! Yeah, but unfortunately, enemies later on in the game do get calm enough to block. That's the sad part about the game. And there we go, he's done. Well, man, I, lo I love the soundtrack of this game. It's uh, it's basically combining real instruments with epic like stuff, which I love. Oh man, I like that sort of flair has to it. It totally suits Scott Pilgrim. Well, basically, main, the main um, main plot of the book. Basically, this Scott is this this, this um I wouldn't say Scott is special, but basically Scott is basically in a big hole since in the beginning of the books, Hillcrest Park. Basically, Scott's like in a love hell hole when. After he broke up one of his major exes. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden he starts dating a high schooler. And then he sees his girl Mona, Ramona. Then things, they start dating her and broke up with knives. And basically he has to fight his evil ex, evil, her evil ex boyfriend in order to run her love. And she's I'm getting my rock here. It's kind of hard to talk and play at the same time. And basically that's where the plot goes. So basically, our big deal is to fight our evil ex boyfriend in order to her love. Actually, in order for us to keep dating her, actually. And, and ow! There's a reason why I'm not using my special attacks that much. And, ooh! Jesus, 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 this might kill me. This might kill me. This might kill me. Zero. Ah! Okay, that's close. Oh! Good! When you're going like this, we kill five guys, or you manage to knock almost all of them off. And, but unfortunately, you get them too fast, you won't be able to get to the enemy. Sally won't be able to show it off. Yeah, basically, your hyperactive state. Basically, you get or if you can combo a person endlessly. Ah, emos, emos. I hate these guys. They get off a lot quicker, so you won't be able to like um drop kick them or stuff. So you better be Scott. Sometimes it's the controller, not me. And yep, keep juggling them. There we go, they're dead. But it's nice to keep juggling enemies because you get a lot more money out of it. Also, I love, I, I love how they're actually Canadian dollars. And ow! Right in the face! Jeez! Pal! I wish I had Ramona's skill. Actually, speaking of which, I should explain what Knives does for, di for different characters. Basically, for Ramona, if you're playing as Ramona, Knives gives you like a free thing, and ow! Basically, it gives you like a free power up state. And I think she restores some health, but not too much. For Kim, she basically does like a lesbian kiss, like she did in the books. Basically, one day in the fourth book, Kim and Knives got basically drunk, and he started making out. Basically, for Knives, for Knives' skill for Kim, basically restores some health. Not much. Does help later in the game, I lost a lot. That's why I should not be playing and talking at the same time. I'm usually more confident in this. Let me just be up these dogs here. I don't condone the abuse for animal violence. Let me just be up these dogs here and 
get the money out of it. And Sorry, the other dogs, dude. But no. Ow! Hey! Ow! That was not me. That was the controller's fault. I pressed block for a second. But it'll be better when I get that one ability sooner or later. I mean, I think we're almost done here. We're almost like 10 minutes in this episode. Now, I'm trying to fit these parts in, like, I'm trying to fit these levels into one part. That's a problem. Well, as I was saying about, um, the cam of this. Yeah, not the cam. The knives are sensing. Yay, level up. Basically, I got the backhand now. Melee. For still, she basically throws her kunai. So that's basically what she does. She basically, she basically laying, laying her enemies chow down. That was terrible. Well, anyway, let's just... And also, that cat in the background, that's basically... That cat's name is Gideon. He only showed up in the book, sadly. She, he only showed up in the book, sadly. And, hey, Gideon, how are you doing? So cute. Well, anyway, it's, it's door right here. It's basically... If you see a door with a star, it leads, to a side, it leads to a side area or a shortcut. So basically, take these if you want extra money. Since I want the extra money, I'm taking these. Come on, they're here. There we go, piggy banks galore, and sweet Jesus, all the money and... Oh my god, that was glorious. Glorious sweet money. That will really help in the long run. And... Yay! I managed to do co do co completely on that one. Usually I don't get that many piggy banks in this. Good thing I did, I managed to get a lot of money out of that. If you hit the piggy bank, if you hit, yeah. If you hit the piggy banks, you'll get a lot of money out of it, so... Be sure to kill them, and... Yep! I also got a high bracket of stay out of it, so that's good. Oh man, this game does get a lot more, di a lot more difficult and fun with four players, but sometimes the game can barely handle it. Oh god, jeez! I tried to go out the email, but sometimes the analog stick will not respond to me. I Stop being in the foreground! I just love this music. I'm like, I'm gonna lose myself in it for a second. Ow! Stupid emo. That guy did not drop money at all, or else I went out of buy and picked it up or already. Well, yeah, I believe we're almost done here. Well, you know what? I'll show this off. Just cut. This is what happens when you don't go in the door. Snowball fight! Basically, just. Basically, you have to always throw enemies, try to throw snowballs at you. Nothing serious, nothing special. And, uh, ow! The bad thing about this game is. They don't let you block. They only have to turn around and block. That's a bad thing. They only block throughout. Right I hate games that do that. Come on. And out. I hate how they stun you with the snowballs. Luckily, these guys are about to run out. So. Analog, please. I don't want. Usually I want to play with analog when I do these games. But there we go. Hi. <laughs> well, let's go with this guy and we should be done here. And stop blocking. And hi, our guy in the distance. And oh, come on. Stop blocking. Stop being confident. Stop being confident in your abilities for once. There we go. He's dead. But I almost lost another life. This is not good. Well, hopefully I'll be able to go to the shop here and... Ow, 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 don't you... Yeah, it killed me. Hopefully I don't die here and lose another life, because I want to actually preserve his life and... Get out stopping district, so let me just take a break and head here real quick and... Ow! No! No! Let me get in there. Let me get in the shop and... Hi, Stacy. Hi, little sister. Yeah, this is Stacy Pilgrim that owns the... It's supposed to be the second cup, not the delicious cup. Well, hey, Stacy, Stacy Pilgrim, which is basically Scott's older si basically Scott's little sister, which she acts older than he is. Basically, she, she's basically the little sister that looks after her brother. Well, let's, let's buy a ice latte here, which is uh, basically a snack, which basically helps us back up when we die. It also gives us some experience and some defense, so I'll just hold on to that for a second in case I die, because I don't want to lose another life. If I, if I, if I do manage up using it. I will buy, I will buy another one off screen. But that might not be the case, because I might actually kill these guys. Hi, Young Neil! Yeah, that guy right there is Young Neil, and sorry for punching you, Neil, and OW! You jerk! And, yay, Sneaky D's! 
I might go in there eventually, but actually not really. I might go into um, one of those shops here. Okay, I want to kill this guy, I'm not the fire hydrant. Sorry I'm being on you, young Neil! Yeah, basically his young Neil Gordograph. Basically he's Steven Still's roommate almost. Well actually I am not sure if they're roommates actually. Well I'll head back here and show you these guys right here. These guys! I believe that's that might be Lawrence and Monique. I'm not very sure. I know the girl's Monique, but I'm not sure that guy the glasses is Lawrence. Lawrence is basically Scott's younger brother. We only see him one time we only see him one time in the books. And he's hard he, you can see him mentioned in the books, you only see him one time in the books, but he's hardly ever mentioned in the movie. Well, right, moving on, and Sand and Monique's basically a random girl you see in the you see in the books. And also we have on no cap videos here. Yeah, inside here. Thank you, game. And you can buy videos here, but however, you have to pay off Scott's late fees. All because he bought one movie. I guess the only movie that was. The Land for Four Time Four. <laughs> he claimed that a mouse hit it. Well, here we have is here we have is um Holly, I believe, Kim's roommate. Actually, work actually more like her um workmate. I'm not sure what to, what to call that. She's basically her, her friend at work, almost. Which later on in the series started moving in with her. And also, yeah, Pierce thing is sushi bar. I'll go to sushi bar. Hi. I know his last name's Kim, but I forget his first name. Jason Kim, that's his name. Well, let's buy Rainbow Maki and heal ourselves up. And also get an increase roundabout. Yeah, you know the basic stats. Basically, speed increases your, how fast you are. And, yeah, basically. Speed, willpower increases your special attacks, and you know what strength and defense do. Well, I just want... Do I want to buy another one? Yeah, why not? Just help me in the long run. There we go. Now I'll, I'll be confident for once. Stop being a jerk. Yeah, this game's basically... You can buy this game for like five bucks on PlayStation Network as of right now. I think it might be able to buy off Xbox Live too. But if you guys are interested, I recommend playing this game. It's really fun. The music is enjoyable and... I want to get in the shop for a second. Shockwave record. Hi, Julie Powers. Basically, Julie's basically the bitch of the group. Guess that's it. Well, mainly, if you want to have an easier time in this game, buy what I'm buying. Basically, buy Smashing Turps, which basically increases your, your attack by 8. I mean, seriously, look at that. It's glorious. And also, buy Winifred Haley, Haley, which basically increases your defense by 8. So basically, I'll be able to easier time as well now. Also, Crash and the Boys will get into those later. And Clash of Demon Heads will get into them later. And basically, Clash of Demon Heads, basically, I think it might be an NES or a Super Nintendo game. I'm not very sure. But anyway, see you later, Julie. And. No, ow! I hate how enemies can cover me. No! You'll not dogpile me! Get off! I'm not like that. And, yay! Hyperactive Run! Yay, I'm Super Saiyan now. Hi, Joseph and Wallace. Fun fact about these two. They're gay. Basically, Wallace is the blue jacket guy there. He's he's basically Wallace is just Scott's roommate. And, hi, Sandra. Basically, this is Monique's friend. And she owns this bookshop. And oh, yeah, I like the references they have here. If you can cookbook, get rich now, and have a study hard in one hundred one bookshop. And let's see. That's basically a graphic novel, another graphic novel that was made by Brian Lee O'Malley. I haven't got a chance to look at it, so I'm not for sure. I'm not sure what about what's about, so I can't tell you right off the bat. I, nope. You're not hanging me that easily, pal. I hate how enemies can blindside you in this game. And nope. And hi, nice his mom or aunt. I'm not for sure who that is. I, I want to get out of here for a second. Let's sit down here, buddy. Because if that was the case, I would have gotten a lot of bus. And, hey, that bus had something on it. That's a preview of the next box we're facing. And, yay! I got the counterattack! Hopefully, I'm going to shoot off here. Come on, Daria. Come on. Come on. Be confident. Be confident. Be 
No, I mean, I, I mean, jerk. Actually hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. There we go, the reversal. I love that attack. I love the reversal. Basically, get, if you, you almost instantly kill an enemy and basically get a lot of money out of it. I love it. Let me just kill this guy here. You see that star right there? I'll show you guys what that is. Come on. Die. There we go. I basically drop kick the win in this game almost. Basically, in here, it's, just, it's a secret shop. Which is owned by Wallace. We got Talox Feast, which gives you an extra life. Ambrosia, which I'm not sure what that gives you. Bionic Arm. I'm not sure what that gives you. Never, never ending Fantasy. Hmm. I wonder what they're referencing. And Speed and Porcupine. Hmm. I wonder what they're referencing. I wonder what they're referencing. But I'm, not, I'm too broke to file stuff. Basically, I can give you a lot more stuff there for your buck. And that's up here because there's race cars down there. Anyway, I think we're almost done here. We're almost at the final stretch, actually. Ow, 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 ow! I want blocks to be all encompassing. Like, seriously, I pressed block there, but one of those guys blindsided me. I use your fly as a weapon for a second. That guy didn't drop no money at all. I are disappoint. Let's get down and dirty with these guys. And I see little Pac Man ghosts in the background. Does it say hamburger on the wall there? Let's get rid of these guys and we should be on our way. There we go, let's get the money and run. Come on, take the money and run. And coop back. Let's drop kitty these guys for days and there we go, yep, we're having a much easier time here. Yep, there we go! That's what I love, this is what Hyper State does! <laughs> I just love this! Let's see how far I can go! Ah, oh, I almost hit 200. I'm sad. Well, hopefully, we can kill this guy. There we go! This is glorious. I love this. And I can easily kill those. You know what I'm sad about? It? Sad about this? There's no achievement for you to get like, more than 64 hits. That's a, that's a thing in the book. Wait, wait, wait. Look at the blizzard here. Wait, let's head inside this door. Let's take another subway's highway. And also, there's another chance to get yourself, for yourself to get money, so... Be sure to grab it while you can. Basically, what the subway's highway is... Basically, it represents someone's head or something. It's basically inside someone's head, basically. basically I think what this area is... It's Scott's head, almost. Alright, hmm. Blocks that spell out coins. I wonder what they're referencing. Well, I can hit these blocks in order to get more coins, so... I'll do that, just to get more money, just for later. So I have a year of time in this game. And, jeez, that spots a lot of money. Well, it's actually take our time to actually get some more money here. There we go. Uh, it's not just one more block. And the boss should just be on here, so... Well, I should try to compose myself. I believe I am ready. Well, actually, the first boss is not that difficult, so let's head into it! And, hey, it's a rocket! And those guys right there are crashing the boys! Which is basically a rival band. Aw, what money I could have had! And, Hi, Patel! Here's the first evil ex-boyfriend, Matthew Patel. Let's do this. Matthew Patel is not really that hard, and jeez. Okay. Trivia about Matthew Patel. He dated Ramona when, he was, when she was in the seventh grade. Apparently, for some reason, in um, middle school, all the jocks in the football season all won her for some reason. And since when Matthew Patel was was actually a non-jock and non. That's actually non jock and non white around. They decided to date for a week and then he start, she tore put them off. He didn't really get evil until high school, but that's another story. Basically, when. Also, Matt Patel, he's not really that hard. Basically, when you have enough time until some of his demon hipster checks, he's basically hit them until he actually. until he actually dies. Matt Patel. You can't hurt Matthew Patel when, when he um, gets like that, and he's almost dead, because you can see him when he actually blows. 
Actually, he has one attack and can't block, which basically combines his fists together in order to do one powerful thrust. One powerful thrust, so be careful of that. But also, there's people up there! Oh, great, you got second phase of the fight. Basically, little fire, fire fireballs at you. I Good thing I had that lot tie earlier. You know, they're almost done here. I, I, I might die. If I don't talk, okay. Patel, over here. Come on, bye. Get over here. Yeah, but get in the bottom screen here. They won't hurt you. There we go. He's finished. Bye, bye, Patel. And yay, money. We're done here. First boyfriend fight bites of dust. And wow, 90 kills. And now we go. <laughs> I just love Kim and Still's face there. I just love them. I just love looking at them. I'm sorry. I just love the faces they make. Well, that's all one. Also, the great thing about that is, we came back to the shopping district to buy eyes if we want to. So that's really good. Well, first evil likes boyfriend down. Next one is Lucas Lee. Or Luke Wilson. Nah, his name looks Lucas Lee. Well, I believe that wraps it up for the first episode. If you guys like this episode, be like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for, for the next Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. So, see you guys then. 